Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. The Persona 5 beta from 2015 just fucking leaked with a shitload of cut content and unused stuff. This is gonna be a doozy. <laughs> For all of you that don't know, the Persona 5 beta was sold in a private auction, and on the disc contained the December 4th, uh, the 2015 December 4th build of the Persona 5. Most of the Japanese voice acting has been implemented. On top of that, the title screen is completely different, with also no music. With that, there's also a completely different intro cutscene for the game, with Lovenza speaking to you. But the best part is, this beta had tons and tons and tons of early music. Like, just have a listen to some of this stuff. The best part is, this game had a completely different version for the opening song, with completely different vocals. The coolest part is, there is a shitload of unused models for this game. There is some really, really cool ones. Like an unused version of an adult Nanako from Persona 4. Or how about a brand new model of Yukari from Persona 3. On top of that, there's also a more adult looking uh, version of Yu from Persona 4. But he still has that chibi type of look, but he's a little bit more proportional. He looks more proportional. He actually has good proportions for fuck's sake. But the shirt for Ryuji's summer uniform used to say fucking rules, but was switched to no more rules. And for Lavenza, she had a different type of dress with four buttons on her chest. There's also an unused persona, Susano. For some reason, he's in his soul hacker's design. There's also an unused shadow that's also in a train conductor uniform. There's an absolute shitload of unused graphics for this game, containing cut characters, early ideas, tons of stuff like that. Like the early title screen I was talking about, with a completely different design for Joker. Or when you're trying to boot up the game, there's an early boot up screen that uses uh, some art from Catherine. There's also some super cool unused teammate graphics, showing off a early protagonist, Catherine from Catherine, with a different hair color and different clothing. There's also Chihei, the, and also a scrapped female protagonist. And last but not least, Vincent from Catherine, with also different clothing on. Speaking of the cut female protagonist, here's a cut-in for her. There's also a cut-in for Akihiko for some reason, and also another one for Chihei, and on top of that, another one for Yukari. There's some battle HUD graphics, showing off Yukari, Akihiko, Chihei, 
Ray and the female protagonist again. And here's all, so here's some hold up menu uh, graphics. And then on top of that, some calendar differences. There's also some Catherine graphics in this game that's left over. And some more early Lavenza art. Also some different uh, Joker portraits. Here's some of Joker's all out attack portraits. The early ones match the original trailer for the game. And not just that, these other images were found in the files that have early drawings of the uh, original four characters. Here's some early palace security meters, like Matarame. His picture is completely different, the only thing that's the same is the pose. And for his shadow form, they added in the Sayuri painting behind him. And for Kaneshiro, his right arm was moved up a little bit, and they also added in some cash in his hand. And for the- or- and for Akumura, his hair was moved to the other side of his head. And they also added in a UFO. And also, this image here might be Wakaba, just because it matches the final image. Here's some early menu icons. Also, here's the Joker portrait for the party menu, which just reuses his all-out attack portrait. Also, all of the party icons for the Velvet Room's menu itemization menu- what the fuck is that? are all different from the finals. Also, the pause screen Joker images are different. The confidant portraits was changed a little bit as well. Whoa! The funniest one is probably... is probably Tay's. Her portrait... I don't know what the hell, but it looks like someone's holding a gun to her head. <laughs> Here's some different dialogue images. Like a different painting of the Sayori, maybe? The paper showing that they want to give the calling card to Kamashita. Also a different version of stealing Kamashita's treasure. An early version of Kanashiro's uh, blackmail image. Also another blackmail image with uh, Ryuji with his old t-shirt design. There's also an early version of Kamashita's calling card. Monorame's calling card. Kaneshiro's calling card, Futaba's calling card, Okumura's calling card, and last but not least, Sai's calling card. Some early placeholder images, uh, a phone that zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> a very weird image with Shojiro with the text, Safety Room Evolution, with a very early version of his design. There's also a couple unused videos, like a unused storyboard. There's also a couple different warp transitions. Also a video of probably a, a section right before Madarame's television conference. Also a little animation of the Metaverse app activating. Also just to mention really quick, there is more evidence that the school actually had a cafeteria. The scene where Ryuji dies is actually a lot worse. They actually, there's a, they actually animated the scene where they kicked the shit out of him. On top of that, here's an early image of that uh, spot that was shown in the uh, original trailer for the game. There's also a cut poker room for Size Palace. Speaking of Size Palace, the entrance for Size Palace also changed. You go through a door into the roof area of the main hall. Also in the underground mall area, the Beauty Feet store is named Bitch Feet in the beta. Also, here's some here's a beta loading screen with a really funny changing day sound effect. So yeah guys, that's all I have to cover right now. Uh, stuff just keeps coming out every single day for this. Uh, but yeah, I mean seriously, this is some cool stuff. I never expected this to actually happen. So this even happening is like super awesome. And so with that, I thank you guys all for watching. And uh, I'll hope to see you in the next one.